So it's New Year's Eve. I'm on my last ride for 2021. Bit of a dreary, overcast kind of day, but a little bit cooler. So for my last ride of the year, I thought I'd take a tour at some of the highlights for me in terms of new infrastructure for cycling in mainly my local area. And uh, plenty to look forward to in 2022, hopefully. Here's the first one, the Sunrise Road Interchange Project and the Centenary Cycleway Tunnel. May not look like much on its own, but this little tunnel cut off a 500 meter odd detour up to Dandenong Road and down here again. And so that makes it a lot more efficient to ride north to south towards and away from the CBD. Um, but the good thing about this project is that it wasn't just about north and south. It's also added better connections east and west. So the shared path cross on this side of the bridge and if you're a little bit braver there's on-road bike lanes. So while this was primarily a road project with people like myself and local residents groups campaigning to make it better for everyone we've got some good cycling improvements and, and pedestrian improvements as well. So that's one of my highlights. It opened in April this year. I mean, you can tell it was a road project by just how long you have to wait at the lights, but you know, beggars can't be choosers, I guess. A lovely headwind. A little bit of filtered permeability. A bikeway linking the industrial estate to the next road. <clears throat> Not a shower coming. Uh, getting to the new infrastructure usually requires riding on the old stuff. Here's a good example. Well, a good example of bad examples. This is the Ipswich Motorway Bikeway, which was also built as part of a road project, which was Ipswich Motorway Upgrade Stage 1. This connects Oxley Road to Granard Road at Rock Lee. All the years sort of blur in together, so I wasn't sure if this bit was completed in 2020 or 2021, but there was a new bit that was added this year. So this is the Granard Road Shared Path, which effectively links the Ipswich Motorway Bikeway to Bunnings at Rockley. And you just get thrown on the road here. But basically you can ride your bike off-road between Bunnings at Oxley and Bunnings at Rockley. Maybe it's the Principal Bunnings Bicycle Network.
and of course the magnificent Indrafilly River Walk. It opened in June this year and it connects the Jackfash Bridge to Twig Street so it's like halfway to the Centenary Cycleway so a wonderful piece of infrastructure probably the highlight for me of 2021. In 2022, really want to see some action connecting it through. And you'll see why, just by how I ride it. Street's fine now. But during school term, it's really busy. This is where parents come to drop their kids off at the school up ahead. Cyclists never stop at stop signs. And we keep going on here. Yep. And this rather awkward off center intersection. BMW driver, I'm surprised I'm not dead. So, what are the other big highlights of 2021? Well, number one has to be the City Link Cycleway. Uh, the Space for Cycling has been campaigning for protected bike lanes in the CBD for six years now. So, it was absolutely fantastic to see them delivered on Elizabeth Street and Edward Street along the Victoria Bridge. And it really has made a big difference in the CBD. And North Brisbane Bikeway Stage 4 completed up the Price Street. Now obviously we're looking forward to Stage 5. Check my video out on that one. The V1 Bellaway got extended further out towards Springwood and Daisy Hill. And it's fantastic. And as well as uh, some connecting shared cars around Tarragindi got widened, which is also good. A big highlight to 2021. So what do I want to see for 2022? Number one, I want to start talking about Sylvan Road. It's a really important connection between the Western Freeway Bikeway and the Bicentennial Bikeway. It carries about 1,600 cyclists a day, and at the moment, it's just not good enough. So I'll be starting to work on getting some action on that. I want to see CityLink Cycleway expanded, more streets in the CBD, particularly heading towards the northern part of the CBD. Interpilly Bikeway connection between the Interpilly Riverwalk and Centenary Cycleway. The to and fro on that from the State government and council. Let's see a bit more, more action on that. Because that's a really important link from the Centenary Cycleway to the University of Queensland, which is, as I keep hearing, the second largest commuting destination in Queensland. We want to see North Brisbane Bikeway Stage 5 go all the way to EJ. And we're looking forward to some bridge projects kicking off. There's the Kangaroo Point Green Bridge, the Breakfast Creek Green Bridge. See some design work maybe starting on the Toowoomba West End Green Bridge. And the Centenary Motorway duplication at Jindalee. So this is a bit of a road project, but it will also improve the bikeway when they do it. So I look forward to seeing that getting underway. It won't solve the traffic problems, but we know building roads doesn't. As we count down, out of 2021 let's go head first into 2022 Woo! Ah. so a very happy and safe new year thanks very much for watching and i'll see you next year